they're uh, they're nicely uh, cloth covered to keep them warm. That's my story I'm sticking with. Thank you, uh, thank you everyone for being here. Um, on behalf of uh, Milka's family, uh, they uh, they wanted me to express their uh, their deepest appreciation to uh, uh, to all of you for uh, all that you've done to uh, care for their daughter, for our friend Milka. Uh, this is uh, um, for those who didn't hear me earlier. Uh, this is where members of my family are buried. My, my mom and dad are right there. Um, they, uh, they died uh, 18 months ago, um, a little longer than that now. And, um, we uh, uh, had a good spot for them here, and uh, Karen and I have got a spot somewhere over here somewhere. Um, uh, so she'll be among family and among friends, uh, a good place to be. Um, for the North Americans among us, um, uh, this will go a little differently. Uh, in that uh, the Nigerian tradition is uh, we won't leave her suspended, we'll lower her into the grave. And then there's a bucket here with uh, some dirt for those who wish to uh, add that. Uh, if you look in, there's, a, there's actually a vault uh, in there, a concrete uh, container, the lid of which is over there, and when we're gone, they'll come and flip a lid and then finish covering up. That's uh, how things are done, uh, but I thought uh, because uh, it might look a little different to some of you, you should uh, should know what uh, know what that is. Um, sure, hang on. It has been uh, a long seven days for all of us. And uh, the, the shock and then trying to pull things together, um, the extraordinary gathering on Saturday. Um, there have been over 1,200 people that have viewed the funeral uh, on the uh, online uh, portal. And I know that uh, her professor friend, uh, Professor Green, um, uh, Chris Green, he, uh, he, he not only watched it live, he went back and rewatched it later. And I think a lot of folks have been doing that. That will be up for a long time, so please uh, um, take a look. In the midst of life, we are in death. From whom can we seek help? Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. He who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit which dwells in you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have ordered this wonderful world and know all things in earth and in heaven. Give us such faith that by day and by night, at all times and in all places, we may without fear commit ourselves and those dear to us to your never-failing love. And so, Almighty God, into your hands we commend your child, Milka. Milka to Garba Batswai. Ensure in certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Her body we commit to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Eternal God, you have shared with us the life of Milka. Before Milka was ours, and now she's yours. For all that Milka has given us to make us what we are, for that of Milka which lives and grows in each of us, and for Milka's life that in your love will never end, we thank you. As now we offer Milka back into your arms. We pray for comfort in our loneliness, strength in our weakness, and courage to face the future unafraid. Draw those of us who remain in this life closer to one another. Make us faithful to serve one another. And give us to know that peace and joy, which is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Now pray with me the prayer our Savior taught us. He said to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever.
Ilka um, was our friend. And I thought uh, before we uh, uh, finished the uh, committal service uh, to see if there was anyone who had a story that they uh, really, really wanted to tell Saturday, but uh, so many other people had talked they didn't want to get up or, or whatever. Um, and so I just wanted to give an opportunity for a few folks maybe to share a story, if you're up for it. Tell the story. Yes. Yeah, yeah sure. So I, I met Milka like three and a half years back through a mutual friend of ours. And uh, she was very fond of Indian culture. And there's this festival in India which is about a brother and a sister where a sister ties a, a red thread on the right hand of a brother. So I told her about this festival and she was so fascinated about it. She wanted to learn more. So this was in August of 2019 when I told her, why, why don't you be my, you're like my elder sister, why don't you, uh, you know, do that ritual with me? So in, for three years uh, on that festival every year in August or September, she, uh, we celebrated this festival together. So she was like my elder sister. Yeah, that's great. So she ties it right around your hand. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so milk. Yeah, Lori. Yeah, I met Milka when she came to Irwin, but got closer to her in, from August on. And to look at Milka was like looking at the face of God. Lay down, my sister, lay down and read your rest. Lay your head upon the Caesar's flat breast. We love you, oh, but Jesus loved you best. And I bid you good night, good night, good night. And I bid you good night, good night, good night. Thank you, David. We love you, and Jesus loved you best. Anybody else? Yeah. I'm just sad that I could not be there this past Saturday to, to say say goodbye to my sister. I've known Milka since she came to Irwin, and she's always had a special place in my heart. Uh, Milka was Milka. Uh, you know, if, if anybody was not feeling well, Milka would always reach out and say, how are you doing? How can I help? Uh, to be able to worship and, and sing with her over the last couple of years has it's just been a blessing because as we're worshiping I every once in a while my eyes would wander and I could see her just praising our Lord and Savior on my right hand side and that, that was just a bless blessing Milka knew how to worship yes. her Heavenly Father yeah. and that was evident and I'm, I'm gonna miss that I'm gonna miss that I came to Syracuse University in 2018 to do a master's and we uh, there was just usually an orientation uh, for for new arrivals and and uh, I had walked into the orientation hall somehow I was coming I was coming out and Maker and Fortune and a group of other Nigerians and other international students were coming in and we greeted we introduced ourselves for the first time um, <clears throat> and later on, we we lived in the same street, and, and she graduated, and I also graduated, um, continuing the PhD. But one thing about Mika is that she will always see something, you know, the bright side of things. You say things when I complain about my own struggle, she will say things will work out. Don't don't worry, don't worry, you 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 get it done. Uh, but um, I don't know. Walked out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We worked out. <clears throat> I mean, with Milka, right? It, it felt. I was telling my roommate Papa Tunde, who's on his way here. It felt like it, it was our cohort of, you know, like we came to America around the same time, <laughs> and and it felt like maybe now our cohort of immigrants was starting to graduate and.
properly integrate so it, this whole like you don't really think some people are gonna like die yet like you know you think about like i think about my mom I'm like oh you know she, but it's like oh no of course you know someday we're gonna leave syracuse and then we're gonna buy a house somewhere and talk about the way in which we've um <laughs> We're working towards achieving our American dream, and you know, then this very sad news happened. But Mil Milka, you know, in debt, how special she is is that even in debt, you can see how she's still able to really uh, inspire. Because when the news of Milka's debt broke, like the AGSN, I was very surprised by the number of international students, people who just came in September and in August who had been beneficiaries of just how the, 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 the largeness of Milka's heart, you know, even at the memorial ceremony, people were still telling me, you know, Milka just sent food to me. Like I haven't even gotten the food yet. And that's just, you know, I think she really paints a, a model for how we should really try to be with people, like really try to, you know, touch lives like when I spoke to her the last time she was, it was when she was in Florida and I remember she just sounded very excited about the work that she was doing and I'm like oh when you come back we're gonna see and you know but you know that that, that meeting would be delayed till a different time but you know, she's just, she's just very such an amazing human being. Milka took delight in uh introducing us to Nigerian cuisine. Mm. <clears throat> but knowing that uh, um, most Americans uh, don't like the spice temperature of Nigerian food, I'm an exception to that. Bring it on. But um, she would, uh, when she would, she would, she would do coffee hour for every once in a while. And so she'd make the Nigerian authentic and then, and then some for the Americans who couldn't handle the spice, <laughs> always looking out for us. Um, but uh, delightful, uh, delightful to be able to enjoy uh, culture through the food that uh, uh, is part of your world. Yeah, it's good stuff. Anybody else? When you mentioned that she liked hot food, I remember um, meeting her, and then she always has this beautiful smile. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the summer, when I was growing a lot of peppers, I'll bring her hot peppers. <laughs> as well as other things from the farmer's market, but I grew hot peppers and she seems like she likes it. <laughs> and uh, the last Sunday before she died, I remember I got a hug from her. <laughs> Sorry. To me, she's a uh, younger daughter. Bye. So, so are they? Are they here to? Can they do the? This is a break. Just Need help? We'll never get down. Oh, there he is. <laughs> 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 the things I've never done before. So, um, I'm going to uh, uh, <clears throat> offer a blessing, and then, uh, if you would like, there's uh, there's dirt here. Uh, and we can uh, we can help uh, start the process of putting her to rest uh, by uh, adding some dirt to that. I understand normally the the tradition is for the family um, eldest to youngest. Um, if uh, if you will so trust me, I'll uh, I'll take the first scoop, and, and then uh, anybody that wants to just come on around and, uh, and add some add some to this. But before that, Lord Jesus, we're so thankful. For the life of our friend Milk. We're so thankful for the ways in which you blessed us through her and the way you blessed her. We are thankful, Lord, for this day, uh, 
to know that uh, that Milka is now um, beyond any heart problems, that her heart is whole, that her life is complete, and that she is now in your radiant presence. Hold her and keep her. Keep her safe with you until we see her again. Bless this place and bless us and let us receive your blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that concludes our time. Stay as long as you'd like. Um, and uh, we'll be uh, working on getting a, um, a permanent plaque uh, once uh, things are taken care of, most likely in the spring. So, um, so my, uh, my mom and dad are right there. Yep. She's with my family. Thank you, Pastor. Well, I was going to put her in some strange place, that was for sure. <laughs> <laughs>